And welcome back, everybody. We are captured, as per the last episode. Can you hear me, solid snake? I got a little bit of a sound stutter, sounds like. Do you know who I am? Oh, there we go. I always knew that one day I would meet you. Oop, hit the wrong button, shoot. That's fine, I don't mind being turned up here a little bit. Sorry for sniff one. There definitely is a resemblance, don't you think, a little brother? This is the infamous torture scene in this game. Or should I say, big brother? I'm not sure. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You and I are both the last surviving sons of Big Boss. Don't worry, it gets more convoluted later on. It's me. In later games. Really? Then what? <clears throat> Those idiots! Alright, Raven. I'll be right there. They're not responding to our demands. We'll launch the first one in ten hours as planned. Damn Americans. Looks like you read them wrong. Or they got another plan. Funny. Normally, the Americans are the first ones to the negotiating table. They must think they've got something up their sleeves. So it's come down to it, has it? We're gonna launch that nuke and ride it all the way into history. I've got to take care of some launch preparations. You're in charge here, Ocelot. What about you? Wanna stay for the show? I'm not interested. <laughs> yeah, that's probably not healthy at all. Oh yeah, definitely not healthy. It's time to feed the family. So, you prefer your wolves to my show, hmm? Ocelot, don't screw up like you did with the chief. Yes, I know. That was an accident. I didn't think a pencil pusher like him would be so tough. Well... His mental defenses were reinforced by hypnotherapy. Boss, what about that ninja? He's killed 12 men. Whoever he is, he's some kind of lunatic. Bastard took my hand. How could he have gotten in here? Perhaps there's a spy among us. Mantis is dead. We've also got to find out what killed Baker and Octopus. We're short-handed, so make this little torture show of yours as short as possible. Torture? This is an interrogation. <laughs> as you wish. See you later, brother. Still in this world, Meryl. <laughs> Down. Hmm. Ah, uh, no sexual harassment at the workplace now. I mean, seriously, Ocelot. Handsome. 
Once she picks a target, she doesn't think about anything else. Sometimes she even falls in love with them before she kills them. Finally, just the two of us. You drag your SS too much, Ocelot. How are you feeling? It bothers me that you drag your SS so much. Not bad. Caught a nice nap on this revolving bed of yours. Too bad I was sleeping alone. Glad to hear that. This is some bed, all right. I'm about to show you some of its nicer features. Where are my things? Oh, don't worry. <laughs> They're all there. Yes, lately packed to the side. Washington was taking quite a chance sending you here. Someone must have a lot of faith in your skill, hmm, carrier boy? Huh? So, Metal Gear is armed with a new type of nuclear warhead, huh? Why don't you go ask Campbell for the full story? The Colonel? By the way, you got an optical disc from President Baker, didn't you? What if I did? Is that the only disc? There's no other data? What do you mean? There's no copy? If not, that's fine. Yeah, you seem to be on about that. Is Meryl okay? <coughs> She's not dead. Yet. Thanks to Wolf's whim. But it's up to you if you want her to stay that way. You were holding one card key. Where are the other two? What's the trick behind that key? Trick? That weasel of a president said there's some kind of trick to using the key. Hell if I know. I see. No problem then. <laughs> We're going to play a game, Solid Snake. And we'll find out what kind of man you really are. When the pain becomes too great to bear, just give up and your suffering will end. But if you do, the girl's life is mine. Press the resist button repeatedly to regain your strength. When you've had enough, press the surrender button to submit. When your life reaches zero, the game is over. There are no continues, my friend. Don't even think about using auto fire, or I'll know. This is really Snake. pushes out the fourth. Uh, it's been a long wall time before. since you saved your game. <laughs> yeah. So what? If your body can't survive the torture, it'll be game uh, over. I just saved. You really want to travel down that long road again? Come on, I won't tell. Why don't you just give up? I'm going to run a high voltage electric current through your body. If it's just for a short time, it won't kill you. Did you know that it was the French who first thought of using electrical shocks as a means of torture? Hey, French films are all right, but I don't care about that crap. Mm, you're a tough guy, Snake. But I've got some bad news for you. You're no POW. You're a hostage. There's no Geneva Convention. No one is coming to save you. Starting to feel a little scared? Good. You should be. Okay. Let's get started. All right, finally. Now I am going to try my time to beat this one. How did you like that? Shall we yeah, go let me set my controller up a little bit better. Had enough yet? Yeah, man, that's tough. Uh, 
Hate that. That tires my arm out. You're a strong man. Well, that's enough for now, I think. I am gonna go ahead and You're beat this one, and then I'll probably brother, go right. back later and fail it. Your brother. That way He's I can amazing uh, man. get the other option. Who else could shoot down to F-16s with a chopper? The Les Enfants Terribles project was not a total failure. He is the one man who could make my dream into a reality. Did. The DARPA chief. Whew, what a stench. Snake, are you okay? I've been better. How's Meryl? They got her. Damn. Colonel. Okay, I know. Snake, the government has decided not to give in to their demands. We're trying to buy some more time. Come on, Colonel. Why don't you stop playing dumb? I'm sorry about Meryl, but I want the lies to end now. What are you talking about? Metal Gear was designed to launch a new type of nuclear warhead, wasn't it? You knew it all along, didn't you? Why did you try to hide it? I'm sorry. Can't tell the grunts, huh? You've changed a lot. Metal Gear, secret advanced nuclear weapons research. Does the White House know about this? How deep does it go? As far as I know, as of yesterday, the President had not been briefed about the Rex project. Need to know basis, is that the idea? These are sensitive times. Even subcritical nuclear tests are causing quite a stir. Plausible deniability, huh? Yes. And tomorrow, the President and his Russian counterpart are scheduled to sign the START III Accord. I get it. That's the reason for the deadline. That's right, Snake. And that's why we can't let this terrorist attack go public. We still haven't even ratified START II, or dealt with the issue of TMDs. This has to do with the President's reputation, and America's place as the dominant superpower. So, you turn to Black Ops. Convenient. Please, Snake. Just stop them. To serve your interests? Because we're relying on you. In that case, tell me the truth about this new type of nuclear warhead. I told you before, I don't know the details. I don't believe you. If the situation is so serious, why don't you give in to their demands? Let them have Big Boss's remains. You see? Or is there some reason that you can't do that? Something you haven't told me about. The President has adopted a firm public stance vis-a-vis -vis bioethics. We don't want the existence All of the right, there we go. Public, just a little better. And that's the only reason. <laughs> the hell with you. I'm sorry. The corpse of the DARPA chief is lying right here next to me. Poor man. But it's strange. He looks and smells like he's been dead for days. All his blood's been drained out, too. Drained? Maybe to slow down decomposition? I have no idea. But the chief only died a few hours ago, right? Right. But he's already started to decompose. What could it all be about? Something in his blood that they wanted? I doubt it. Just the nanomachines in the transmitter. Did the chief tell them his detonation code? I'm afraid so. It looks like they've got both codes and are nearly ready to launch. Damn. Is there any way to prevent it? 
It seems there's some type of emergency override device that can cancel out the detonation code. It's a countermeasure that ArmsTech installed secretly. You have to unlock it with three special card keys. And where are those keys? I've got one of them. I don't know where the other two are. Besides, I'm locked up here. We've got no choice. Forget about the keys. Your top priority now is to destroy Metal Gear itself. I'm sorry to have to lay it all in your lap, but you're all I've got. Bust out of there and get to the communications tower. Also, what? Meryl, right? Yeah. I'll save her. Thanks. Alright, so... God, God damn, I caught a cold. That witch, she took my clothes! Hey. Let me out of here, fool. Shut up in there, will ya? Hey. Hey. Shut up in there, will ya? Come on, let me out of here, man. Shut up in there, will ya? Hey. Shut up in there, will ya? Hey. Shut up in there, will ya? <laughs> nope, not much else to be done right now. getting good quality uh, the last couple times I've streamed. Snake, it's showtime. Ocelot wants you. Oh boy. Back into the party again. Okay, I'll tell you once more. Press the resist button repeatedly to regain your strength. When you've had enough, press the surrender button to submit. When your life reaches zero, the game is over. There are no continues, my friend. I fought wars in Afghanistan, Mozambique, Eritrea, and Chad. Among the Mujahideen guerrillas, I was known and feared as Shalashaska. I was trained by the Russian Gru. I'm not like one of those KGB slugs. To me, this isn't torture. It's a sport. You're all just a bunch of sadists. Don't confuse me with those uniformed fools. Well, shall we begin? Stage like out. That. Shall we go again? Not yet. Yeah, I have actually. century Russia has had its share of problems, but at least they had an ideology. 
Russia today has nothing. They're struggling between freedom and order, and with that struggle, a new spirit of nationalism has been born. The boss has a close friend high up in the Russian government. <coughs> He's currently the head of Spetsnaz. He's agreed to purchase this new nuclear weapons system. The Hind was just a down payment. So that's a pretty cheap down money. payment, Dad. I don't need money. I want Russia to be reborn, to lead a brave new world order. Shut up in there, will ya? You okay, Snake? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing new to report. Snake, is there anything I can do? Yeah. My arm hurts. <sighs> Poor Snake. I'll increase the level of painkillers in your blood. Snake, put the controller <laughs> up against your arm. I forgot what? about this. Don't worry. It'll feel good. Huh? Okay, here I go. Basically, they're vibrating the uh, my controller right now. How does that feel, Snake? A little better? A shiatsu massage. How did you do that? I stimulated your muscle fibers with the nano machine cilia. That's about all I can do for you. Naomi, please talk to me. Say something to take my mind off the pain. What can I say? Anything. I. I I'm oh not a very Lord, good here we talker. go again. Please. <laughs> Tell me about yourself. Another long myself backstory. It's a tough one. Any family? That's not a happy topic for me. I don't have any family. No, wait. There was a man who said he was my father. Where is he? Dead. By my own hand. Big boss. What? Big boss? There was no way you could know. It happened in Zanzibar land six years ago. Only Snake and I know the real truth of what happened there. So, is it true? Was Big Boss really your father? That's what he said. That's all I know. And you were able to kill him, knowing that? Yep. How? It's what we wanted. Me. And him. That's patricide. Yeah. That's the trauma of my life. Just like Mantis said. Is that why you left Foxhound? Let's just say that I needed to be alone for a while. And Alaska was the perfect place. Oh, Snake. I didn't have a real family either. Just a big brother who put me through school. We weren't even blood related and he was much older than me. Where is he? He's dead. I'm sorry. Snake. Is there a woman in your life? After you've been through as many wars as me, it's hard to trust anyone. Friends? Roy Campbell. <laughs> You're still calling me friend? Is that it? No. There was another. Frank Yeager. <gasps> Big Boss's most trusted lieutenant, and the only member of Foxhound ever to receive the code name Fox. Gray Fox. I learned a lot from him. Didn't you try to kill each other? It's true. We did. In yep. Zanzibar Land. Zanzibar Land. Now we're going back to some of the original games we here. We were just professionals on opposite sides, that's all. And you still call yourself friends? Hard to believe. War is no reason to end a friendship. But that's insane. I first met him on the battlefield. He was being held a prisoner of outer heaven. But he didn't look like a prisoner to me. He was always so... Cool and precise. I was still green, and he showed me the ropes. You knew him well? No. We never talked about our personal lives. Sort of an unwritten rule. The next time I saw him on the battlefield, we were enemies. We were fighting barehanded in a minefield. I know it sounds strange to most people, 
but we were just two soldiers doing our jobs. It's like a sport. <laughs> it makes no sense. Just violence, murdering each other. Yeah. I think so, too. So if you were friends, then how do you explain the ninja's behavior? I don't know. It's your genes. They make you predisposed toward violence. You really like talking about genes. Naomi, why did you get into genetic research anyway? I never knew who my parents were. Or even what they looked like. I guess I got into genetics because I wanted to figure out why I am the way I am. So you studied about DNA? I thought if I could thoroughly understand DNA, I could get back my identity. I thought that by analyzing a person's genetic information, I could retrieve the blank spots in that person's memory. Memory is stored in DNA? We're not sure, but we know that a person's genetic fate is determined just by the sequence of the four bases in their DNA. So what about my fate? You know my DNA sequence, don't you? Your fate? Oh, I'm, boy. I'm sorry. I have no idea. <laughs> of course not. You're a scientist, not a fortune teller. Alright, about time. Got through that sob story. Poor Johnny. Bye, Johnny. Alright, where are you at? Come on, Otacon. There he is. Hey, I'm here. Where? <coughs> it's me. Strange how those glasses show up first, Otacon. but okay. Wow. They even captured you. Hurry, <laughs> get down here. <laughs> Let me go. That hurts. Ah. Hurry up. Snake. Is that how you ask a guy a favor? Let me go! Oh boy. Ah, jeez. It's like an animal's cage. What a smell. Yeah, because of him. Hey, it's the DARPA chief. If you don't hurry up and get me out of here, I'll be laying next to him. Those bastards. This lock won't open with a security card. You need a key like the soldiers carry. So what are you doing here then? I... I thought you might be hungry. If you need more food, I can bring some more later. Also, I got you this level six card. It'll get you out of that torture room. Here, take this too. Well, there we go. Now you're being useful. What's this? It's a handkerchief. I got it from Sniper Wolf. Why? I don't know why, but she's nice to me. Sounds like Stockholm Syndrome to me. I was taking care of the dogs here. After the terrorists took over, they were planning to shoot all the dogs. But Sniper Wolf stopped them. She even let me feed them when I asked. She likes dogs. She must be a good person. <laughs> yeah, okay. Please don't hurt her. <laughs> Real good person. Shut up, you idiot. She's the one who shot Merrill. Well, that's all I can do. They're planning to launch a nuke. I've got to stop them. Then you'll have to get past the communications tower. First, you have to get me out of here. Come on, I'm trying my best. That guard's got the key. You'll have to take him out. Give me a break. I'm no soldier. I can't take anybody out. 
You have to I'll grab his gun and I'll go behind careful. him. Dome him. He's coming back. Oh, jeez. He's coming back. See you later. Wait. All right. Get out of here. What the hell? Come on, get back up. You're not gonna let me kick the door, are you? Should be a time bomb. Nope. Take out this camera. That was a close one, Snake. Yeah. A lot. You'll pay for that. It's almost like they planned for him escaping. to make our way back to the tower so huh there's new cameras here all right yep so let me save right here real quick you called me the strong swimmer who most often drowns. It's because the strong swimmer overestimates his abilities and underestimates the strength of the river. You're probably quite used to the mission now, but don't get careless. Yeah, that's the plan. Alright. Give me a moment here to grab myself a sip of my drink.